Hello there guys and welcome to Star Wars Comics where today we finish the 9th Assassin series. Now this issue was shelved a while back when I made issue number 1 through 4 of Darth Vader and the 9th Assassin comic series. For some reason maybe I was just bored or wanted to do something else but I never made issue number 5 into a video and so here we are today in the conclusion Vader versus the 9th Assassin. Hope you guys liked it and enjoy. If you do, leave a like and a comment down below and look forward to the playlist for this series specifically. And now, finally, let's get this video started. The rampage had started. The entire region started to explode. The assassin was thrown over, but most importantly, he didn't want to get discovered by Vader. The earth around them is starting to crack, everything engulfed in lava. The wildlife on the moon started to run frantically as Vader cleared the path with the force. He was not stopping for anyone. Meanwhile, the assassin was swinging around from tree to tree, trying to track down Vader as close as he could waiting for his chance. Suddenly, Vader is met by this gigantic being. He is growling at Vader. He rushes toward the Sith Lord, but Vader picked up a log nearby and flinged it through the force, hitting the beast, but also hitting the tree that the assassin was on as he fell to the ground. As he picked himself up, he saw that both the Beast and Darth Vader were watching him. Now he had been discovered. Vader told him to watch the feet of the Beast. They liked to stomp as the Beast was prepping to rush toward the Ninth Assassin and Vader left him to die. The Beast started hitting everything in front of him. The Assassin simply jumped in front and using his blades, he slashed at the Beast's arteries, making him bleed to death. However, he was now seen by Vader. He is aborting. As he ran toward his ship, trying to escape the moon before it blew up completely. But as the smoke cleared, it was Vader waiting for him. He in fact had completed his business on this moon. Now he considers this pleasure. As he ignited his red lightsaber and went straight for the assassin. Using his acrobatics, the assassin nearly escaped the lightsaber of Vader, but Vader was too strong and quick. He grabbed the assassin by the arms, hindering him useless. He was quite clever with a blade, but not nearly enough as he kicked the assassin back. Still. The Empire could put a cutthroat like you to good use, said Vader. He wanted to test out the Assassin's will. But the Assassin told him that he already has a job and he intends to finish it right now. It was to kill him as he rushed at Vader again. The assassin tried his acrobatics toward Vader as he flipped over Vader, but Vader using the force stopped him midair. He was good, said Vader. I have no complaints against you. Don't make me silence your blades. You now belong to the Empire. As the assassin slowly was picking himself up again, he works for himself. As he again for the third time rushed at Vader, but no, he worked for weak men. For those who have more coin than backbone. As with one swift stroke, again the assassin was sent flying over. He had no chance. You are just a puppet, said Vader, seeking revenge for those unfit to deserve it. Now the assassin was crawling, trying to get to his blade, but it was too late. Vader put his foot on his helmet, stomped him completely. He pushed and pushed as he cracked his helmet completely. What justice was the assassin talking about? He is justice, as he raised his red blade and killed the assassin right then and there. Using the assassin's ship, Vader escaped this wretched moon who was now engulfed in lava. Both the assassin and the moon were destroyed by the Dark Lord of the Sith, Darth Vader. Of course, Vader didn't stop there. He went for everybody who was involved with the assassin who was involved with his assassination attempt. Even for the employer, the wealthy industrialist who had hired the Ninth Assassin to kill Vader in revenge for the death of his son. Naturally, this pleased Palpatine. It was impressive, even for one as powerful as Vader. In fact, he had brought the Emperor the crystal that was powering the energy shield coming from the moon. The Emperor knew that Tarkin would be very interested in this discovery. In Legends lore, it is led to believe that this artifact is what led to the functionality of 
of the Death Star laser and how they used it for their own agenda. You can see here Palpatine mentioning a special project, which was of course the Death Star. It is as his Emperor wishes. Vader lives to serve his Emperor. With that guys, we end this comic issue and as I mentioned, this is the fifth and final issue of this uh, series, Darth Vader and the Ninth Assassin. I've said this a lot, but eventually I will get to uh, creating a playlist for every one of these series that I'm creating and I will definitely do so for this comic series as well for you guys to enjoy the entirety of the videos and these comic issues brought to life. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you like this video, please feel free to leave a thumbs up down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for daily videos like this. Have an awesome day guys and may the force be with you always.